What I'm about to show you now is something called Franklin's Bells. Now, Benjamin Franklin did not invent this. Andrew Gordon did. But it's called Franklin's Bells because he tried to create a lightning detector using this device. Now, for our demonstration today, we're not going to use lightning. We're going to use something called a Wimshurst machine, which is a static electricity generator. And it operates on a very simple concept of electrostatic induction, but it's very difficult to explain exactly how it works. So if you're interested in learning how this guy works, you can search on Wimshurst and rimstar.org on YouTube, and there's a 10-minute animation that does a great job of explaining how it works. When I turn the crank of the Wimshurst generator, you can see that I can generate quite a bit of static electricity. I've connected my Wimshurst machine to my Franklin's Bells, which consists of two aluminum plates that are insulated from the ground, and there's an aluminum ball that's dangling in between those two plates. And when I crank the Wimshurst generator, it's going to charge up the two plates. One will charge up positively, one will charge up negatively, and let's see what happens to the ball that's dangling in between. Let's take a look at what's happening here. In the beginning, everything is neutrally charged. But once the plates start to charge up, some of the negative charges on the aluminum ball are attracted to the positive plate. We call this a separation of charge. And eventually, the ball will start to move one way or the other, depending on whichever plate it was closest to at the beginning. In this case, our ball is moving towards the negative plate. And when it touches the negative plate, some of the negative charges from the plate move on to the ball. And the ball now becomes negatively charged, which means that it's going to be repelled by the negative plate. And at the same time, it's going to be attracted to the positive plate. And when the negative ball hits the positive plate, some of those negative charges move to the positive plate, and now the ball becomes positive and is repelled by the positive plate. This ball swings back to the negative plate, picks up some more charge, and moves it to the positive plate, and this just continues on and on until there's not enough charge on the plates to overcome gravity. But wait, there's more. I've replaced the solid aluminum ball with a ping pong ball that's covered in aluminum foil. Let's take a look and see what happens when I charge up the plates. Hours of fun for the whole family. So, why don't you have one of these lightning detectors in your home today? Well, it turns out that it gave too many false alarms in order to be of any practical use.